Hey there, Leanne again from Kingdom Blogger. So in this video, which is part three of our onboarding series, we're going to talk about the difference between blog content, written content, and video content. So why do we need to know the difference? Why is either one important and why they should both be a part of your long-term planning strategy? Okay, so most of the time when you get started at Christian Blogger, the first most thing on your mind is like a blog, right? Where you start a website and you write content. And yes, that is very, very important. But I don't want you to discount the part of blogging that includes video. The truth is written content and video content both have separate search engines. Um, you know, video content is searched specifically on YouTube. It's also a uh, on Google. You can click over to the video tab and video searches are at an all time high. So as a Christian blogger, when you're planning out your your whole like everything, you want to ensure that you are taking that video part into it. People will Google things that they want to read, but adding video to it, like to supplement, complement the written part of it is very, very helpful to your reader, especially if you're offering tips and things like that. And so everything else I'm going to talk about in this welcome series, the SEO and the planning and everything is really going to apply to both written content and video content. So, you know, if I had done this onboarding series about five years ago or more, we wouldn't really even be talking about video, but video is a very crucial component to a long-term growth strategy. And the truth is, whether this is good or bad, people prefer video over reading, like visuality really helps drive home the concept. If you're talking, kind of explaining things versus just reading it in a very organized, formatted way, you know, this kind of way being on video, people getting to know you, your face, your personality, everything really helps you connect with them. And as a Christian blogger, that is really important because, you know, we can read the Bible, the text of the Bible all day. But it is often through those uh, YouTube videos or Bible studies where you have someone on the screen really kind of breaking things down to you and giving you comparable things to relate it to. It really helps. And if you're, let's say, a young Christian mom trying to pour into other young Christian moms, by them seeing your face on the screen, helping them discuss these things, they can see, you know, the pain, the struggles in your own, you know, facial expressions and things. But it's more believable because you're closer to their season than, say, if me as a 50-year-old woman were trying to pour into some 18 or 20-year-old young mother, there's such an age gap, age gap and generational difference that they just really wouldn't relate to me. And on the flip side, if you are, say, a younger woman in your 20s or 30s, someone older, 50, 60, 70, would prefer to connect with someone their own age to build a relationship, fellowship, and so forth. And yes, we should be mingling them together, but when it comes into the daily pouring into, you know, the generational differences that we have, the age gaps really are important in understanding that because the language we use, the comparisons we use, you know, like the old funny saying, that like when you tell your kids, you know, I used to walk to school uphill both ways, right? Kids just don't understand that because they don't have that struggle today. So when you use that analogy, they have no idea what you're talking about. And so just the lingo and the language, you know, the things they do on social media and how they interact. Some of us older generational people don't quite understand that. And so having someone who speaks the language there on video, explaining, talking, whatever, really helps drive it home. But all that aside, video searches, the amount of content being consumed via video is rising. It's at an all-time high, and I, you know, it's not going to kind of backtrack. It's that's the way it's going. All social media, um, everything is going to video. And so I want to encourage you as you go through the rest of this onboarding series. Um, I do have another video in the notes that kind of goes into more detail. It's why video is so important for Christian bloggers. So I encourage you to read that one or I'm sorry, watch that one. But I want to encourage you. I know video can be scary. Like nobody wants to see their face on the screen. Um, but as you continue through this process, just start kind of thinking about it. You know, fear, fear is a liar. So if whatever it is that's causing you to not want to do that, really pray about it and really start kind of thinking um, again, your goal is to minister to people and pour into people spiritually and whatever tools you have at your disposable disposal to do that, 
you should utilize. Video is a very powerful tool for that purpose. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of mention this as we go through our onboarding series here. So in the next video, we are going to talk about SEO. I'm going to explain what it is, how it works, and show you that it's really not that techy of a term that you should be afraid of, but it is a very vital part of blogging if you want to see long-term growth. So be sure to like this video. Um, just hop, like it right now and make sure you're following us here at Kingdom Bloggers if you're not already. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.